Well, this is it, the last day of September. The big question is, what will happen in October? Are we getting ready to move up? The dog days of summer are over. Everybody's back to school. It's time for everybody to lock in, right? And get ready for Bitcoin because October is historically Bitcoin's best month. In this video, we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at a huge chart. Make sure you guys stick around for that. You're going to love it because it really breaks down Bitcoin's price performance every single month dating back to 2013. So we're going to take a look at that. We've got analysts out there talking about Bitcoin potentially getting ready to make a move. Bitcoin coiling up to perhaps make a little bit of an end of 2023 run. Many of the on-chain metrics and momentum oscillators indicate that we are going to break out in October. Like we did in previous cycles. Like we did in previous years. So, take you right inside this. Make sure you guys smash that like button for us too. Always, always helps us out. Also, subscribe to the channel. But go ahead and smash that like button. It's totally free. Let's go back to 2014 to 2016. This is coming from Stock Money Lizards. Shout out to him, trader over on X. But this is talking about the peak of the previous cycle, as you can see right here in 2014 to 2016. Where we are now, this is September on every single chart. And what happened from 2014 to 2016 cycle? This was September. Right in here, and then a breakout. Same thing here, peak, consolidated. Here's September in 2017, 2020, breakout. 2021, 2024, are we getting ready for that same type of move here? And we coil up maybe a little bit here and get ready for another breakout, really getting into 2024. That's the big question. That is the big question we're all asking. And listen, none of us have a crystal ball. None of us. This is why a dollar cost average into Bitcoin. But we always want to be prepared with the best data, with the best uh, historical analysis that we can. Right Now, let me take you inside another chart because this one is super fascinating. This is Bitcoin monthly returns month by month Going back to 2013, guys. So we can see here, historically, September, right here, is the worst month. It's not even close. Let me go ahead and move myself over on this side. So there you go. September, we've had a couple green months. Not really that green. Actually, this September, if we close uh, about where we are right now, if we don't have like a crazy sell off to the price, you know, here we here we are right now at about 27,000 just on the doorstep. If we just kind of close somewhere in this range, we're actually going to have a green September for Bitcoin. Nothing crazy, you know, about 4% right now. But historically speaking, look at this. It's been terrible, right? Down 19% back in 2014, down 14% 2019, down 7, down 7. But look at October. Historically speaking here, guys, October has been a moneymaker. Last year was kind of brutal. Why? We had a lot of things happening, right? We had the Terra Luna collapse. We had the FTX drama, that, which was just coming right on the other side of October. There, there we saw it last year, what happened, down 16% in November, right? But historically speaking, you know, 2017, 2013, big gains. 2015, big gains in October. So this could be the start. This could be the beginning. We've also had some big months in November in the past, as well as December. But October historically has been our greenest month ever with Bitcoin. So I think we should be preparing for this, right? We prepare for the worst, but obviously set ourselves up to get some gains as well. Right now, 
We've had three momentum up indicators flash using my XT algo this year. I'm waiting for that final flash to make one final trade this year, all while DCAing Bitcoin for the long term as well. That is where I'm at right now. The technicals showing us buy signals right now, according to oscillators and moving averages. Things are looking pretty solid right now. And if, if, if we get a Bitcoin spot ETF, that could be the catalyst that turns an already solid-looking October into a money-making October and the start, the official start of this next bull run. It's so hard to pinpoint when we're at the beginning of the next bull run. Many people believe we're here right now. So with all of this in mind, understand where we're going long term. Understand where Bitcoin is heading. Understand that Bitcoin is its own asset class. It's only going to get bigger. And what this means when institutional investors come pouring into Bitcoin for our entire market is nothing short of massive. I, I can't even describe a word in terms of this pent up demand that is sitting on the sidelines waiting. So that's what I've got for you guys. We'll be tracking this very, very closely throughout uh, the year, uh, throughout throughout the rest of the year, of course. Make sure you guys are subscribed down below. I appreciate you guys so, so much, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.